Hey guys, I got a few minutes today and figured I'd make a quick video to update um, my blood work. I got lab work uh, last week, last Thursday, and um, to kind of document where I was, I needed blood work anyway. I've been on statins for high cholesterol, uh, uh, atorvastatin, which is Lipitor, since I was in my early to mid 20s it's been so long i don't even remember but um my i have familial high cholesterol high you know lots of risk high triglycerides lots of risk factors there for heart attack in fact my dad has first heart attack when he was 37 i think it was and he died when he was 56 of a heart attack so it's of interest to me um i never really have done much to control my cholesterol. I've never made big dietary changes. Um, I've just taken Lipitor for, um, you know, probably going on two decades almost. And I don't want to get into statins. There's a lot of risk factors with statins and liver function and everything. But part of that is because it can mess with your liver, I'm supposed to get blood work every six months. Well, true confessions of a slob. It's actually been since 2015. It was August of 2015 that I got blood work last. And then I got sick in 2016. And I just want you to understand what 2016 was like for me. Okay, I'm not going to talk about all the sickness I dealt with. But in terms of my decisions of, of what I ate and um, you know my lifestyle then, I was very sedentary. I laid on my back. For six months I barely left my bedroom for, for the first six months of 2016 um, you know I couldn't breathe and I was depressed you know I would rather have been I, I was always on the go and I had a job at the time that was very active and and I it's not an it wasn't an office job it was very like uh, on the move very fast-paced kind of a culture and I liked that. And I liked being on the move and constantly driving and, and uh, moving around. So I was depressed, long story short, when I got sick. I was just laying there like, what's my purpose? And there's only so many times you can watch your favorite TV shows. Um, you know, so for six months, I just laid there. I even had trouble reading, which I love to do. I had trouble doing that. I was like in a mental fog all the time. And I gained weight because I never stopped eating. I drank my coffee every morning with cream and sugar. I had breakfast. I had lunch. I had snacks. I had dinner. And a lot of it was emotional eating where I was depressed and I just didn't care. Another thing that happened is even once I got up and started to do things again and started to feel better, I was still sedentary for the rest of 2016. Even if I was like... Uh, you know, treading water, like, well, what am I going to do with, you know, now that I've not, not even knowing whether I was going to, you know, be completely, um, healed or able to go back to work or whatever. There was still that depression and that uncertainty. And I ended up playing video games. I mean, I was on my, on my feet again, I was able to do things, but I was still like feeling sorry for myself and, and, um, eat too much, drink too much overindulged many many nights I went to sleep with a full stomach I remember playing um, Assassin's Creed Black Flag the one with the pirates in it uh, the video game with the pirates in it and I loved it but I was drinking real rum almost the whole time I played it <laughs> so you know yo ho ho and um, so just really horrible decisions throughout 2016 and then the holidays and at no point was I ever um, trying to censor my sugar, trying to cut back on anything I wanted. I ate pizza, I ate ice cream. Um, I stayed full, okay? I was packed out. And yet, I still craved more food. You know, my appetites were just out of control. And I excused it, and you know, with, with feeling bad generally. But that's how I gained 30 pounds. So on the outside, I gained 30 pounds. So when I went to get this blood work last week, I really thought the numbers would be terrible. I mean, I thought if I get a cut, my triglycerides are going to be so freaking high that if I go out and get a cut, 
or slice something open, my skin, my, my blood is just going to glop out of my, my veins. You know, because it was just that bad. I mean, I just had no consideration at all for what I was eating. I ate whatever I wanted. I drank whatever I wanted. And, um, you know, thought, I'm going to get diabetes. I'm going to die. Gain 30 pounds. You know, you, th you think these things. Uh, and my, my heart would just be beating and all this. So, once I got, you know, sort of started to come to my senses the start of 2017 and started researching intermittent fasting and and ADF in particular, alternate day fasting. One of the things I watched was a documentary on YouTube called Eat Fast and Live Longer. And I'll link to it in the description so you can check it out. It's uh, Dr. Michael Mosley in the, in the UK um, did some, some searching. He did this documentary <clears throat> about uh, fasting and its effects on people and their minds, their mental state, and their physical state. And in that program, he got blood work. He fasted for four days. He got blood work, and his numbers changed radically in just four days of fasting. And he was doing a complete, basically a complete water fast. He was just drinking mostly water and, and tea. So, anyway, his numbers changed radically. Well, I've been on ADF now for, as of this blood draw, for four weeks and two days. And so I was curious to know how these numbers would compare. I had the baseline numbers from 2015. August of 2015 was the last time I had blood work. And then I lived like hell for a year. And so I really thought the numbers were going to be crazy. And then in March 1st, I started ADF. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm going to put some numbers up for you. I've talked about my history with high cholesterol. You can see it on the screen now. My cholesterol has dropped. My total cholesterol, my HDL cholesterol has gone up. In the past, the only way I could get my HDL to go up was tons of cardio and being very careful about my calories, but basically tons of cardio. Um, my LDL cholesterol, what people commonly think of as the bad cholesterol, has gone down and my ratio there is better. Now the best, the triglycerides number there that you see there, that, that's the best number I've ever seen on blood work, no matter how old I was or what I was doing dietarily. Uh, I've got basically after four weeks of being on the ADF plan, I have the best numbers I've ever seen. As far as like, these are the numbers that are indicators for your heart disease. Okay. Diabetes, which I was so worried about because I felt like such crap <clears throat> and stroke, you know, and I've just thought, man, you know, and they checked also, you know, my kidney and liver functions and those things are good. You know, one other thing of, of note is my, my blood sugar. That's the other thing I was worried about. I thought, man, my blood sugar is just going to be through the roof because, you know, ice cream, going to bed on a full belly of ice cream. I mean, that's what I did. <clears throat> and, and here I am, basically, um, my blood, my blood sugar, my glucose levels have dropped. They're 86 right now, which is just perfect. I mean, it's midpoint. All of my numbers, all of my blood work, um, my blood count, my white cells, my red cells, everything is, it could not be better. It's just that amazing. And so I'm a believer in ADF. Uh, you know, I was kind of like on the fence a little bit. I mean, the weight loss is one thing, but what really matters is what happens on the inside. I mean, that's the stuff to me that really matters. It's, I'm not obsessed with my looks. I don't care if, you know, I'm not trying to attract anybody or, and I don't have any, you know, um, I just don't have a, uh, I'm not focused on the outside and I'm not, you know, it's just not me, but so these in the numbers of what's going on inside my body in terms of my, um, my blood, and my functioning <clears throat> couldn't be better. And it's it's really, after a year of debauchery and loose living, to see my numbers be this good is really a blessing. So I just wanted to pass that on to you. It's one of the other benefits of alternate day fasting. 
there's really nothing else that comes to my mind that could have affected, you know, my, my body this positively. So I wanted to pass that on to y'all. Have a good day.